So there is no reason to accept being slandered. Uh, there is no reason to accept being slandered and being smeared. Um, one must protect oneself and point out the the blame that is the blaming that is going on. So uh, name calling that uh, someone is doing here is um, wrong, you know. Most often, the most uh, common thing that people do is to project. You project your own faults onto someone else. It means that, for example, if you are, um, if you scream a lot, you tell someone else that they are screaming. That's uh, and so this is the most common thing, and this is how people do, right? It's like the mirror, you know. The mirror will tell you what it is doing, so that it will not, it will be protected from its own, um, like telling someone, you know, if I scream, if I would scream at someone, and I would say like, you are screaming to me. And that person would tell me back, no, you are screaming to me. It, this, this, uh, these words have already lost its um, potency. And, and somehow, unconsciously, people know about the rhetorics. They know the, the rhetorics of pointing out one's own faults in someone else. That's projection. So this person here, Ronnie, is um, attacking my, um, making some kind of attack. And um, what I'm doing is that I am not accepting this uh, to uh, like, in any way and so I'm saying why just write why writing a comment like that is to smear someone you need to make a real uh, argument not ad hominem you you cannot just label me you need to tell me what I did and so then someone else will come to its aid and and, and say so here's the thing um, the, it's like he's protecting this other guy like no but we're all a bit insane you know he wants so why is this other guy entering the chat and telling uh, telling we're all a bit insane well he's protecting the other guy from mental breakdown so i wrote a book about this this is this is my absolute best potency my best is to destroy those that point fingers so you you point the finger i destroy by words that's what i do and i'm proud of it because this is the worst sides of humanity to to point finger and to have empty statements at the same time to to uh, um, smear and to project and um, most often this is really like people that do like this they also you know what is it it is to use the brain for evil so um that's the problem with intelligence, right? Many people use intelligence for evil, right? And um, whatever, right? It, 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 it's really sad, but that's how it is. And um, so this is my... This is my, um, my good area. And it really needs to 
be simply destroyed. Um, so yeah, I need to repeat it. Um, people that smear needs to be destroyed uh, by God. Okay, God needs to um, do uh, some sort of. Uh, it, it's like so. How how does this happen? Well, you realize that there is a lost scapegoat. That's the crucifixion, right? If you understand this crucifixion and how it accepted to be the definition of, of evil almost, right? You cannot crucify someone unless it is um, the face of evil itself, okay? And that's why there is a con connection to Azazel, Azazil, uh, meaning scapegoat, and... Um, uh, pharmakia, the medicine, the, the snake on the stuff uh, of Moses. That's why. And once we realize this higher knowledge, we can finally uh, destroy, or God can, God can destroy with uh, with your permission. Okay. So what you do is that you're freaking proud of existing, and those that want to use um, uh, these ugly tricks to put you down and, and push you down they need to be like destroyed simply not by your hands because you are bound by karma but they need they need to be destroyed by insanity for example there is a, almost like a zero sum zero sum game when it comes to insanity Either either you are insane or they are insane. And so they really need to go insane. They are on the brink of going insane because they already blame others. They already project, which is the most common way of interacting. Like when you, when you do these rhetorical aggressions or when people do it, Remember, the most common thing to do when there is an argument between people is to project. And so, uh, and so it becomes a great example how someone would, for example, call someone else insane. Because what, what really needs to happen is to something to be clear. It needs to be explained what what did someone do wrong okay and so and that's so the purpose of the book that i wrote is to be proud and understand that no one needs to be uh, scapegoated and also once you can handle the double wedge sword of Knowing that one of the edges of you, um, I mean, you need to behave yourself, right? Which means that you don't smear others, you don't scapegoat others. In other words, you don't hate. And so uh, the double wedge sword can allow itself to be sharper, sharper, right? It can become sharp. So that it will, with metaphysical means, uh, slay the one that doesn't deserve. Okay? Uh, and so there are so many people that, that uh, occupy themselves with blaming and pointing the fingers. And so something needs to happen about that. So what do they do? They point the finger on Azazel. Azazel. They point the finger on Satan. They point the finger on the what they consider to be evil. Okay. And that's the problem. This... Uh, drive of pointing the finger that's the problem and it needs to be uh, it needs to be more 
clear like you cannot blame and uh, I'm uh, trying to put an end to that by you know if you check the language of like the etymology of things and how how it is written in the Bible in in, in uh, and connecting to Greek mythology and and to to all of these myth many of these mythologies, you will see that, like, in the same way that language is interconnected, there is um, coherency in in like the mind itself, and so once you once you um, um, appropriate yourself to that it can allow itself to be become more more um like stronger i don't know how to say right but that's how i see it um so again i, I repeat you don't do i don't do anything about ronnie here i don't do anything about it uh, instead it is solved by itself. You see, I don't do anything about that. Of course, you can apologize, for example. There's always the opportunity to, to apologize. But then again, when does someone apologize? Is it when all strategies have been exhausted? So when all strategies are exhausted, then what's, what's the value of an apology? Sometimes, like when you bring out the weed out of the garden, some of the weed has to be thrown away because it's too dangerous. Some of the weed can be put into a container where it's where it becomes soil again it becomes soil but again i repeat some of the weed are not even able to become soil you must throw it outside of your land it's not even um, possible to become soil because it's too root it's it has too many of these parasitic roots it has to be thrown away far away uh, so yeah um okay okay guys uh, so this is this is the fight you know uh, this is this is my this is my uh, my struggle which is like i want to I, I realized that truth is about a curse um, because you crucify the truth, you crucify the snake, the, the Moses snake, and, and from the curse you have the cure, you remove the S, you remove the snake, you have the cure to denial. People that deny, they can still, um, how do you say, they can prosper. Denial prospers because we crucify the, the truth. Okay, so uh, what I do is that I work against this. I want. I I have realized that truth is a curse, and it means that it will uh, make things like, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Right, it makes. Um, the false like um, temples built out of uh, uh, paper it makes it fall right okay so i think that's it you know i just wanted to to say something there and um, you know that's it um Yeah.
So see you guys another time. Made a little um, Kreta Giraffe Labyrinth image here. Just for fun. See you guys. Bye bye.